What's up everybody, it's your boy VTX fan, and today I need to replace the battery in my VTX 1300C. Now normally replacing a battery is so easy it's strong. But I ordered this battery online and they ship it dry. I have to fill this battery with this sulfuric acid. Set the battery on a level surface, remove the sealing sheet, Then we take this off. This will become the battery cap later. As you can see, there's foil on each one of these tubes. Do not remove the foil. Do not puncture the foil. The battery will do it for you with these sharp tubes. When handling this stuff, we want to make sure we have our gloves and our safety glasses. We take the tubes upside down like so, line them up, and press straight down until all of them pop and it starts bubbling. Just like so. You might have to tap a little bit on the top, but pretty much just leave it there and let it do the work. They seem to be going pretty good. When you first add the acid to the battery, you're gonna generate one, heat, and two, gas. You'll wanna work in a well-ventilated area. Now the battery's full and the tubes are empty. We need to dispose of this properly and make sure we clean up any spills. Neutralize any acid with baking soda and water. All the dirty work is done. On the charger, cap is loose, let it gas out, and we're gonna let it charge overnight. Now that we have filled, charged, and prepped the new battery, we need to remove the old battery and install the new. For this job, I'll need a six millimeter Allen key hex bit, 10 millimeter socket, a brand new battery, a VTX 1300C, a cup of freshly brewed donut shop coffee, a sweet old Labrador retriever named Professor Bonkers. Let's start with the seat. We gotta take out the side ones with the six mil. Other side. Ten millimeter acorn nut for the pillion seat. A Phillips JIS screwdriver. You got three screws in here for the battery cover. That's one and the washer. Two and three. Let's look at the cover off. And we'll just take that out and swing it aside. And here we've got our old battery. That's 10 mil. Okay. It's a Phillips, but it's also a 10 millimeter. And we're gonna take it off. There's the old one. Let's get the new hardware. All right, just for comparison, here's the one I took out of the bike, the old one, and here's the new one. Wow, big difference. Will the battery box hold it? Yes, it will. Get the 10 millimeter socket. And snug it up just right. If you ever have loose battery cables on this bike, the first sign that you'll see of that is your speedo jumping wildly for no good reason and it running kind of rough. Now we gotta see that this cover will fit back on with that bigger battery. Battery cover. Make sure that's locked into place there. Make sure that's straight. Battery cover screw number one, tight. Number two, tight. Battery cover screw number three, tight. Let's check it out. Woo! I'll just give her a little bit of a dusting, tidy up while we get the seat off and can get to this stuff. 
this Mustang sport touring seat. You put the front one on first, get that tongue under here. Make sure that's aligned so you can see the threads through the hole in the seat. Side two, tight. Then you come back with your 10 millimeter socket and snug it up. Perfect. And now the moment of truth. How does she start? Oh yeah. Perfect. This job is done. And that's it for today, guys. We'll see you next time. See that little wire right there? Looks like it's got a little shot. Oh, Lord, then.